Hi guys. Um, little flip through for you today. Uh, lovely book by a gorgeous reader, Berman, who um, whose books I am just in love with, and that's down to Steph at Red Tifa Colours, who got me into these, and now I'm completely hooked. So it's all her fault. <laughs> um, I love these books. They are just so much fun to colour. This is the third one I've got. I have no idea how it translates. It's all in German. I don't speak German at all. Well, I know the occasional swear word, but that's about it. Um, I think it translates to my walk through the seasons. Um, as this book is a collection of Rita's favourite illustrations from her four books, um, Spring, Summer, Autumn, Winter. Um, so it is a super thick book. Um, my copy, you'll see all of my copies of my books and my flip throughs have gone a bit wonky and that's because I've gone through and coloured in most of them now so the spines all go to pot which drives me nuts but there you go um so yeah this is um my walk through the seasons i have colored one page in this because i'm impatient but i think um when i do flip throughs and there are colored pages in them it does give you a chance to see how the illustrations can turn out um, because I find that sometimes you get a book and you think, mm, I'm not sure about that. But once it's coloured, everything comes to life. So I've decided I haven't got a problem with doing a flip through with the odd coloured page in. Um, because it gives you an idea of what what might be. So let's get on. Um, so it's a small book. Um, I think these are about 8 by 8 inches. And like I say, it's quite thick. So it's maybe just over half an inch thick. Um, I think there are 122 images to colour in this book, which is amazing. Um, nice thick card colour. And our title page. Um, and like I say, I have, and there's a little write up here if you can um, speak German. There's a little write up that tells you about Rita. Um, I presume she was born in 1971, and that's all I can tell you. <laughs> <coughs> then there's the the usual publishing page, um, and a little bit more here about um, the thing of the book, um, which it, I think it kind of says, walk through the seasons, seasons of a 365 days. Um, I'm not sure on that one. So I'm going to zoom you in just a wee bit because it's such a sweet little book. I don't want you to miss any. Um, so on this page we've got um, little mushrooms and a little sailing boat, little houses and some flowers and a jug. It's nice paper. It's not uber thick paper but um, you can use... Um, if you're very careful, watercolour and stuff on it, I have done in the past. Near colours and stuff like that. Um, so, sort of spring-like flowers in this one. This is the page I've coloured in it. Um, and this was done in Prisma colours. So you can see, I mean, the, uh, 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 this has got so many layers of Prisma on it, it's ridiculous. I think there's something like about 8 or 10 layers of Prisma on those hills in the background. So you really can, if you've got a light touch, layer this right up um, and, and get away with quite a lot. So I presume if you use polys, you're going to get loads more layers in. Um, I haven't tried polys in it yet, but I will. So let's just have a little look at this um, little bird. And this is gorgeous. I'm looking forward to colouring this sort of mandala-y um, bowl of flowers. Um, and some gorgeous little patterned raindrops, little April showers. And these 
gorgeous trees with little bird houses in and, and flowers and there's so much movement in these pictures <coughs> um, and yeah there's quite a lot of leaves but they're not nearly as leafy as Johanna Basford's books um, and the variety is just gorgeous and before you know where you're at you're, you're just engrossed so um, little bird houses I love Rita's bird houses they are so sweet I'm just going to zoom that back out a wee bit because this is making life a bit difficult for you really um, so you can just little lake little mad march hair There's a double page spread but the way that Rita does her books is these can be either a single image where you just colour one side or the other or you can colour the whole lot as one so um, there's no although you can see there that that continues across it doesn't actually interfere in in the spine of the book so you can just you know do your thing little umbrellas with a little cat so we're definitely in April here I think with the showers it's a bit like that out there at the moment outside and the little water birds and the kingfisher and a little otter and hyacinths these are some of my favorite flowers hyacinths and daffodils for me that is spring and these I, I like these little square images or little circular images um, and I've done a few in other books and I like to do these in a limited palette um, and make them into little feature pieces all of their own and tulips because everybody loves tulips such a variety of flowers in these are gorgeous what a lovely place to sit on here and looking across and watching the swans and the cygnets and the swallows that have flown in dragonflies and butterflies beach, that's little beach houses, so sweet, oh perfect garden, lots of flowers and a comfy place to sit, little camping holiday, gorgeous ducks and these are so pretty little fox hiding away, little wild pigs, how cute sweet little town sketching this could be a little colour and spot it looks a bit windy that day actually the trees bending like I say, there's so much movement in these. They really are beautifully illustrated. Gorgeous apple. Quite happy 
flipping through here and not paying the slightest bit of notice as to whether you're on the camera or not. I'm sorry guys. Sunflowers and our um hmm. My husband and I argue about whether these are turnips or swedes. He says they're swedes, I say they're turnips. They've always been turnips in my book. So yeah, no doubt we'll discuss this one further. Kites and the windy day and look at the movement in that, it's amazing. Very talented lady. Pumpkins, so we're obviously around Halloween. More windy days. And there's the rain back, heading into November. Big puddles. Transition from the autumn to the, the winter foliage. The corns on the trees. Excuse me, guys. Towering pine trees and snowflakes. That smell of snow in the air that I hope we don't get until next year now. Little Christmas wreath and Christmas baubles. Lots of yummy things to eat. Gorgeous pine corn. And look at the detail in that tree branch, in that piece of fir tree. Little winter birds. Lots of woolly scarves and mittens and hats. silent snowfall that you get. You wake up the next morning and it's all white and magical. I've seen this coloured by a few people and it looks absolutely amazing this, this Christmas boot. Christmas market and Santa Claus himself. A new year. And I've coloured quite a few images now that have got a black background and using those really bright neon colours that you get in fireworks and stuff, this will really pop. It'll look amazing when it's coloured. And ice skating and enjoying the holidays. And a beautiful heart to end the year with. And then a little bit about the rest of her books and the titles of them that I can't pronounce. And um, lovely soft cover on this book that's beautifully coloured. If you're not on, uh, if you don't follow Rita on Instagram, and you are on Instagram, um, I suggest you have a look at her pages because her colouring is so vibrant, so bright and inspiring that... Um, I love, I love looking at her stuff. So this is um, Rita Berman's Walk Through the Air, Through the Seasons. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that flip through and that you'll now dash out and get this. It's available from Amazon um, and it's about, at the moment, about £8 I think on Amazon UK. Um, <coughs> so yeah very very much worth the money for the 122 images to colour and um, it's nice and portable to go in your bag as well so you know you can take it with you so people that is um, one of my most favourite colouring books I hope you enjoyed the flip through and I will see you again soon take care for now bye